from Minute Maid Park in Houston. An AL West matchup on the show. It's the Texas Rangers taking on the Houston Astros. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Foul straight back. The wind of the pitch. That nope, one just misses. No, he's not afraid to fall into a two strike count. Knows the strike zone very well. So much so that I think umpires will look at him ah. and determine whether it's a ball or strike if he swings or not. Pulled the string of the changeup. So now it's Corey Seeger. Corey Seeger. Pulled down the line. This one hammered, but it's foul. That's a really good pass of the ball right there. Just a little bit too quick. He's got to find a way just to travel a fair more. Got it. Strikes out the side to begin the game. What a start. And now the right fielder, Kyle Tucker. The right fielder. He's a bad ball hitter, so even if you get him to chase pitches outside the zone, he still might beat you. Not an easy out by any means. The 1-1 one, one is fouled off. And a 1-2. And Two another ball. ball. Out to short. One gone, oh, bottom half of the first. Next is the That's designated that. hitter, Corey the designated Jones. Hitter. Corey Jones. And the right-handers 3-1. To third. And it's off the bag. And no throw for some reason as he reaches first. That That's got to be an error. No left fielder. You're and at done. first, you're down Alvarez. Oh, Up next for the Astro. Runner on the go. There's a the ball. And that's a stolen base, not even close. Well, that still right there is a little risky with the guy you got at the plate. He's so hot right now and such a quality hitter. You got to make sure you're going to be safe. And fortunately for him, he was. Now he's in scoring position. It's tall over the left field wall. And this place is rocking. Third home run of the season and the grand lead. It's 2-0. Jose Altuve up to him here. Hammers that one. Curling down the line and foul. Clearly he was geared up for the fastball right there. Maybe got a little jumpy and excited out of the hand, but he certainly didn't miss a stitch. Ground ball up the middle. Oh, he gloves it over to first. He's and dead. he beats the throw very close right there. The third baseman. And now it's Alex Bregman. Bregman. And another ball. Two runs across in the inning here in the second game of the series. In the air, right field. Squeezes it. And stepping in for the Astros, Gaynor Diaz. Two outs. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're One giving ball. the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss, get into that ball. dugout and hit the reset button. And here it comes. Base hit. That was smoked through the infield. Throw stops the lead runner at second. 
two on and two out. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. We'll say Abreu up to hit. Nice grab on the run. That is the inning. Back here at Minute Maid Park, leading off Adolis Garcia. Adolis Garcia. The 1 1. Well, after scoring oh. runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Swing and a ball popped up. Abreu gets under it. Then there's one down. Now it's Marcus Simeon. Boog, how good was Marcus Simeon in 2023? Named a finalist for the MVP award in the American League after producing a season with 100 RBIs and 826 OPS and 29 home runs. On top of all that, his Rangers won the World Series. Goes down looking. Nathaniel Lowe up to hit. The first baseman, Nathaniel Lowe. Comes up empty. That's strike two. One ball, two strikes. The Rangers down by a pair here at the top of the second. And That's there's a ball. ball. Bounce to third, and that should be extra bases. And that rolls into the corner. Now he turns and heads for second. And that's a two-bagger. He was that all that over that one. He smashed that ball the other way and kept it fair down the third baseline. Did an excellent job of just throwing the barrel at the ball, even though he was a little late on it. And that's too high, ball four. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. So first and second with two outs. And now the DH, Ezekiel Duran. So now one and two. Low on second. Young at first. Two out of the inning. That's towards center. Pulls up on it, and that's a base hit. Run comes in from second. It's 2-1. Picks himself up an RBI. Pretty good spot. Hard and inside. Well, that's a perfect example of keeping your hands inside the ball tight to the body. The ability to take that back up the middle shows his approach is to use the entire field. Now here is Jonah Heim. Kicks and fires. And oh, just misses with that one. Man, oh man. I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Still two and two after the foul ball. Green and looking for the K. Back here in Houston, bottom of the second. Here's the center fielder, Chaz McCormick. The line of the pitch. Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. Jeremy Pena up next for the Astros. Next offering is foul back. Righty delivers. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. The wind and the pitch. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Here's Kyle Tucker. Number 30, Kyle. Two out spaces empty. Foul ball. This one lifted in the air, left field. Carter hauls it in to end the inning.
all set for the Leading start of the inning. Down. Here's Leody Tavares. The line to kick the pitch. Fouls one off. Two and two. The pitch. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. And a pitch. Way outside. And now it's three and two. And he walked him. Well, that could be a tone setter for the inning. Four straight pitches and the leadoff batters on base. We'll see if the next guy waits until there's a called strike before he takes the bat off the short. The Strohs leading by a run here in the second game of the series. Verlander checks over to first, and he's back. Well, Chris, through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. Here's a one-two. Got him swinging for the K. Pulled the string on the changeup. Seeger stands in now. Well, in their win last game, this guy came up with two home runs. Obviously trying to keep the roll going here in this one. Close, but called the ball. Two and one. Well, made it so comfortable for his club to secure that win. Very fresh team today, and it doesn't have to be all on him. But the way he's been swinging it, I expect him to have another big one. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. No intent of stealing on that pitch. <laughs> Picks up strikeout number seven. And now it's going to be Adolis Garcia. You have to be careful throwing him breaking pitches, even in an 0-0 count. He loves going after the off-speed stuff, and he's really good at hitting it. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now, doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really to second, and he's out. They don't come much closer than that. Bang, bang, play to end the inning. here in Houston as we go to the last of the third. So now the Astros designated hitter, Corey Jolks. Hit hard, should be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. In safely, it's a double and his second hit. Everything came together for him. Just a really nice approach to shoot that line drive to the opposite field. There's a lot of hard work and discipline that goes into getting a result like that at the plate. Doesn't come naturally for most hitters. One, two now. Battling here as he fouls it away. Man at second. Foul ball still a one and two count. And That's another ball. Now, not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout. And there's one away. Here's the former MVP, Jose Altuve. One out and a runner at second here in the last half of the third. Way too far that time. It's one and two. One ball, two strikes. Got it by him for the K. Now batting. Third base. Here's Alex Bregman. Alex Bregman. Chop to third. Young. Whips it across. And that ends the inning. Our series rolls on as we go to the top of the fourth. Stepping in the long ball threat, Adolis Garcia. And another ball. Well, these Rangers showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. And he deals. 
three, that's two. in the dirt. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Right-hander kicks deals. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Well, he got challenged with a good fastball right there. Just couldn't catch up. He goes down looking. Here is Marcus Simeon. Well, Marcus, a career-high 45 homers in 2021 with the Blue Jays. He parlayed that into a seven-year free agent deal with the Rangers. Over to Abreu. And Simeon is out. Here's Nathaniel Lowe. Nathaniel Lowe. And a pitch. That misses, and it's two and one. Looks like he's being a little cautious with him in this at bat after doubling the first time up. Ball Doesn't three. want to make another mistake. Three ball, one strike. Two down, nobody on. That Eight. one's in there. Three balls, Eight. two strikes. Outside, out. and that ball is four. ball four. Well, two out walks are never good, especially when you're trying to get back into that dugout. But he's still in a good spot. He's just got to refocus and deal with the bottom of this order. Two outs. Swing and a miss. And the count is even two and two. Swing still in for the K. Pulled the string on the changeup. And we're back. Bottom of the fourth. At the plate is the Astros catcher, Gaynor Diaz. Close nope. one. Doesn't get the call. Two, one. Two and one. Well, these Astros do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. They're doing a good job of working the pitch count. And they've been able to push a couple of runs across to score as well. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Still relatively early, but with a pair of runs already on the board, the ripple effect of that high pitch count might set them up to do more damage later in this game. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. Got a great back and forth, and that at bat. He had to play off some really close pitches, and somehow, Boogie, found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Ground ball could be two. Touches the back for one. On to low. It's a double play. And now the center fielder, Chance McCormick. Very composed play from the shortstop position right there. I mean, that was a perfect decision. Go ahead, take it yourself, get to second, and then fire to first. Make sure you get those two outs. Garcia makes the play, and that's out number three. Here at Minute Maid Park, we go to the top of the fifth. Now here's the Rangers, D.H. Ezekiel Duran. Swings and misses, and it's one and two. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success. Swings and blasts one deep to left center, and that's going to roll to the wall. And the tying runs at second base with a double. All over that one right there. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Next to hit, Jonah Heim. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the map. That one ran inside, almost got him. Straightened him up a little bit. In the air, center field. Penguin tracks it down for the out. Now that's a tough play for the infielder, ranging back into the outfield. There's part of him that's saying, hey, where are you at, outfielder? Call me off. But he stayed focused and made a nice catch right there. 1-1 one, one down. Chips his swing. Now it appeal to third. And yes, he did. He went around. The 1-2. Tried to check his swing. Appeal to third. Yes, he did. Down he goes on strikes. 
the left leader, number 32. Now here is Evan Carter. So RBI spot, but Chris, this is a guy that is not really swinging the bat all that well here. In this situation, you have a real good opportunity to get swings and misses and record a strikeout. I think you attack him in this spot. And that one finds its way through. Tying run is in to score from second. We are tied at two. Well done. Drives in the run. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying Whoa, off. Down. Good eye right there. This might be a steal situation, but that's not your average catcher behind the dish. You have to be careful here. Carter off of first with two away. Pitch misses outside, and that's ball three. Chris, with that distraction and a speedy guy at first, nope, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot now for a hitter to be in. Adolis Garcia stepping in for the Rangers. Slap hard the other way, but foul. Two on, two outs. Nope. And now it's okay. even up. Hey. Got him working. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. And welcome back to the ballpark. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Now, Jeremy Pena. Well, you got to give him credit out there on the mound. This outing started off a little shaky, but he's found a way to settle in and turn this into a pretty good start. Kind of shows you a lot about his mental makeup as a pitcher. At him looking, that's a strikeout. The right fielder. So next up for Houston, Kyle Tucker. Tucker, who's been an All Star and a Gold Glover. Gets the slider in there for a strike. One ball, two strikes. On the ground, right side. Throws to first. Home half of the fifth inning, moving along. Two quick outs. Now it's the DH, Corey Jones. And that's off the inside edge. Now two balls and a strike. And another ball. And a base hit up the middle. Keeps the inning alive, and now Jordan Alvarez to the plate. The left fielder, number 44. Here's Jordan Alvarez. Jordan Alvarez. The 2 1. Swings and pulls it foul to the right side. Two outs. Rudder takes off. Drill to right. Way back there. And that is gone. Another homer. His second home run of the game. It's 4-2. Two. two outs. Nobody up. And next to him for Houston. Jose Altuve. Next pitch is outside. Base is empty, two away, but two runs are in at last half of inning number five. And the righty deals. Good plate appearance four. there. Able to take the walk. Pitch count's Third getting up pitch. there now. And not saying Allen. that's the reason for this walk, Great but pitch. this is the point in the game when every sign of wavering starts to get everyone's attention. New pitcher on now, Dane Dunning. Still pretty early in the ball game, so this bullpen has some work ahead of him. Best case scenario might be if he can come in here and get several quick outs, kind of bridge the gap that starter left for him. That one ripped. Carter going back. Up against the wall and brings it in.
We're back, and they make a change to start the sixth. The new pitcher, Lance McCullers Jr. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Marcus Simeon stepping Rangers. in for the Rangers. The second baseman, Marcus Simeon. McCullers winds fires. Two balls, two strikes. Crushed. Left center field. This one's deep. Forget it. His second home run of the series. It's 4-3. Up next for the Rangers, Nathaniel Lowe. The 2 1. And that one ripped to left. And it's just foul. That was close. Got him. And that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. Here's Josh Young. The third base. One out, bases empty, and a run in. And we're in the top half of the sixth. Swing and a pop-up. Abreu under it. Out number two. So next to hit for Texas, Ezekiel oh, Duran. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. And it is two and one. Dirt swing and a miss. Got him. Oh. Inning over on the strikeout. Back here in Houston, the bottom of the six. Astros. And here's the catcher, the catcher. Gaynor Diaz. Yeah, no. Diaz. Lifted in the air, right center field. Tavares calls it in, and there's one away. Jose Abreu up next for the now Astros. Well, this race. can be pretty fun as an outfielder. Got to put it into Abreu. his highest gear and go a long way to track that one down. Nothing better than that. You feel like a wide receiver playing football. One down, base is empty. On the ground to first. And he handles oh. it himself for the out. Chaz the McCormick up the next for the leader. Astros. Chaz Two down, nobody on. Swinging a foul back. That's out of play. All sliders so far in this at bat to get ahead in the count, and clearly shows there was a game plan in mind for how to attack him in the box. In the air, right field. Garcia settles under it. He's got it, and that is out number three. Back here in Houston, top of inning number seven. Leading now the catcher for the Rangers, the Jonah Heim. Looking to Hine. get the tying run on base. Hard hit to third. Tosses across the first, and they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. Leody Tavares digs in now. Leody Tavares. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. One down, base is empty. And oh, another ball. Out. Ripped to short. Over to Keep Abreu. Down. And two away to start the seven. Now the left fielder, Evan Carter. Evan Carter. And now maybe extra bases. Around first, heading for two. The throw into second, and now the tying run is into scoring position. Up next to the Rangers, 
Now it's Corey Seager. The shortstop takes the ball with a single base runner because of all the power. They are dangerous to tie this thing up or take the lead. That's a slider for a strike. Up the middle. Over to Abreu. And Seager is set down. And that is the inning. Set for the last Lead half of the seventh. The and stepping in for the Astros, Jeremy Pena. Jeremy. The pitch. Pena. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Brings it in. And there's one down. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. The pitch. And there's a foul ball. Hangs and misses. It's a strikeout. Two outs, base is empty. So now the Astros designated hitter, Corey Jolks. Two down, nobody on. Here at the bottom of the seventh. And that's in for a strike. Okay. Out towards right center field. Simeon on the move. Reaching for it and brings it in. Welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Josh Hader. He's pitching on two days rest. Adolis Garcia stepping in for the Rangers. He's a guy Chris whose highlights include some of the best throws from the outfield that you will ever see. Definitely one of the best arms of the sport. That one finds the zone. That is strike two. Yeah, the infielders and the catcher can never give up on a play because if this guy thinks he has a chance, he's going to throw it from the warning track if he has to. And a pop-off right side, foul territory. Brings it in, and there's one away. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and the get the first team. hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. And now one and two. One ball, two straight. On the ground to third. Bregman to first. And Simeon is out. And now here is Nathaniel Lowe. Lefty continues to work with the closer getting loose in the bullpen. Breaking ball inside. And that's ball two. The healthy cut. Tough pitch at 98. But a really good pass at the ball. Two outs. And there's a rocket into the outfield. And that one's going to get into the corner. Around first. Digging for two. Not in time. He's safe. Having a really nice game here. That's his second extra base hit. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy. Didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep. Took the barrel right to it. And then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. At the play, Josh Young flips the corner. It's a ball in two strikes. Very solid inning on the mound so far here in the eighth. Holding on to this narrow lead. This is exactly what they were looking for.
Pitch All misses. Out. Now two and two. Two balls, two strikes. Goes down looking. Now into the ball game on defense, Sam Huff. He takes over as the new first baseman. Now it's Jordan Alvarez. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. Right-handed reliever. Bounced up the middle. Tossed to Huff. And yeah, they get the out on Alvarez. Now back. So Check here's the basement. Astros cleanup hitter, Jose Altuve. Altuve. One down, base is empty. That one is absolutely belted. Can't get to it as it drops into the corner. Now it's Alex Bregman. Now it's Belkin, deep to left, way out of here, home run. A gigantic blast. Home run number five on the season, and they throw a pair on the board, it's 6-3. So next up for Houston, Gainer Diaz. Not close with that one, and yeah, that's ball two. Base is empty one away here in the bottom half of the eighth inning. And a foul ball. And the right hander deals. Bows it back with two strikes. Right side, Simeon. Sends it to first, and yeah, they get the out. Now back. Jose Abreu getting ready to hit. It's a good recovery, though, after Abreu. giving up the home run. Not allowing it to stay in the head, but going to work at the next hitter, and a tough one at that. That one way outside, ball two. He swings and fouls one off. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. And that keeps the inning alive. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. And a batter now, Chaz McCormick. And they'll do it again. And the pitch. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. And a pitch. Right through there, got him. And the inning is over. We're back. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Brian Abreu. Well, he's the guy they hope to turn to out of the pen to lock down wins. So this game has gone to plan, more or less. Let's see if he can wrap it up here. And now Ezekiel the Duran, the designated hitter. Ezekiel Duran. Hey. Swing and a miss. As he was out front that time. On the ground, right side. Altuve slings to first. And the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. Here's the catcher, Jonah Heim. Jonah 
One down, base is empty. And another ball. Wouldn't Three chase ball. that time. Back-to-back -back. Back -back breaking pitches away, you get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So four, I think four. the confidence Eight level eight. is raised right here. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Now the hitter didn't offer at it. Field. Now he has somebody to worry Field. about over at first. Tavera. And that one is lifted in the air. He's there. He's got it. And there's two away. Last chance now for the Rangers. Evan Carter stepping in for the Rangers. That one fouled off. Two and two. This could end it. Still two and two after the foul ball. Line to left, and there's a hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. And here's Corey Seeger to hit. That one drifts inside. Tough spot right here, a couple runners on. Two ball cow. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. The tying run at the plate. That one's in there, and it's to a two. Just amazing to me how many closers and back-end relievers just throw absolute gas these days. I never would have had a chance. Fights it off, you'll see another. I want to start that load a little bit sooner because of the good velo. Tying run at the plate. That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. Looks like you got a little excited on that fastball. Got to think to yourself, you want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the Hell ballpark. Ball. You're a little late, opposite field not. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. The pitch. In the air, right field, pretty well struck. Tucker on the move, heading back. He pulls it down, no game. And the Astros even this series up at a game apiece. Whether you're a season ticket holder or you just come to a couple of games a year, to see your team win at home, there's just something special about that. Good job by this team to get it done for the hometown fans. 6-3, our final score. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chambi saying so long.